the central vacuum tubing in your house can be rerouted, say if you're doing a construction project or something. If you're adding on a room and you wanted an inlet valve in that new room, that can also easily be done. We'll take you through those steps here. This is the intake on your Kenmore central vac. It's going to have a pipe running to, uh, throughout the home and branching off to the different inlets. In any of those areas, at any place, the pipe can be cut and you can add to that pipe a new valve. Uh, you can take and cut that pipe and reroute it and come back into it. The key is uh, using our 507 P2 adapter. This is going to take the inch and three quarter outer diameter pipe that was mainly used in all of the Kenmore installations. And by the way, if your pipe is two inch outer diameter, this is unnecessary. Just go and buy all of our couplings and fittings and pipe. It's going to fit right in. But if you do have the older style, you're going to cut right into your pipe and you're going to put this adapter right onto the pipe and then you're going to take standard two inch outer diameter vacuum pipe and fittings do your rerouting how, however that may look in your house and you can go on for you know 10 20 30 40 feet whatever you need to do you know you don't want to use tight 90 degree turns you want to minimize the fittings so that way you have the best airflow possible but once you get to that point then you put on another one of these adapters and that connects again to the skinnier central vacuum pipe that's used in most Kenmore installations. So that's how you would reroute the pipe. Now if you wanted to add an inlet valve anywhere in the home or you're adding a new room into your home and it's a new construction uh, build, you can easily add an inlet valve wherever you wanted. Basically what you're going to do is the same thing. Choose anywhere in the pipe, piping system where you can access it or it makes sense and you're going to cut a section of the pipe out um, and you're going to add this sweep T and basically this sweep T is going to uh, connect the old pipe to the old pipe and allow for this new section to go into the new inlet valve and of course that's going to run a ways you know down to the new room and turn go down the wall it may be coming from the basement going up into the wall however you have to do it you're going to utilize a new backing plate. This is the 517 backing plate. If it's new construction, this gets mounted uh, onto the 2x4. And then a tight 90, and this is the only time a tight 90 is used in the system, is right behind a mounting, a mounting or backing plate. And so the pipe, in effect, would run from this T all the way up, all the way down, wherever it has to go, and into this fitting. About 8 inches of low voltage wire will be put uh, into the bottom here and that will follow the pipe all the way back to the T-fitting and tie into the wa wire that it, that's already existing there uh, or you can run this new low voltage wire all the way back to the unit. Uh, either way it doesn't make a difference. And then upon finish of the room or if you're just adding it into an existing hallway or an existing wall uh, you're going to use a basic inlet valve. That basic inlet valve, we have a variety of them in a variety of colors, will fit into your backing plate. Here's one with a different door. Your vacuum hose, if, it's the, if it fits into the standard Kenmore plates, uh, is not going to fit into this new valve. Uh, but that's easily remedied kind of. You'll have to buy a new hose. Good news though, the new hose is, you know, it's lighter, it's flexible, and with the, with the adapter into it, you'll be able to not only use the new hose in the new valve, fits right in, but you'll also be able to use the new, ho the new hose in the older valves. So it's quite a good deal. And that goes for the basic hose, for the low voltage hose, and also any of our electric hoses with a cord in any of our electric kits and these are really great because it allows you to have an electrified power brush to really clean your carpet well. 
So that's how you would add an inlet valve uh, into your house or into a new construction part of your house. You can do it yourself. We have everything you need. Ask us any questions you have, and we'll get you up and running.